Welcome to this edition of Credit Matters TV. S&P has published its first annual European Private Placement League table in collaboration with Private Placement Monitor, and I'm here to discuss it further with Taryn Wade from Corporate Research. Uh, Taryn, welcome. Thank you. Um, so in some of our previous research reports, we've noted that the European private placement markets have been picking up pace, um, but it's all rather an opaque area. So what, why have we launched this table and what, what's it telling us? Thanks, Michelle. Um, for, you know, mid-market companies have traditionally tapped the private placement market, but they have done so via the US market, which is very well established. And we know that the European private placement market has been growing, However, there has not been a lot of transparency around that market. So this, we have done a lot of research in this area, and this is really our latest initiative, working with Private Placement Monitor. And what we found is that in 2014, there were 6.4 billion euros of transactions of pan-European private placements. Mm. And where are the deals being done? Because isn't it a French thing? Well, that that is true to some extent. And in fact, if the league tables show that that they still make up the majority. 53% of the deals in 2014 were done in France. However, um, there is there is a pan-European market developing, and you can see that actually Italy uh, had 20% of the deals, Germany 15%, mm. um, Belgium 6%, UK 4%, and there was also some showing um, from Sweden and, and the Netherlands as well at 1% each. So. So it is becoming more pan-European. Um, I should also note that the deals included um, just European private placement, so it excludes US um, European companies doing US deals, as well as the German Schuldschein market, mm -hmm. and we also excluded a handful of deals that were done without agents. Mm -hmm. um, the details of all of this are in the report, along with some other aggregate st stats that we, we compiled from mm -hmm. the league table. Well, all the numbers sound very positive. Um, do we expect continued growth in the market? Well, if you look at the entire private placement market in Europe, so the, the markets I just listed, as well as the European market, um, we, we had a very solid 2014. The total was 31 billion euros. And we would expect that 2015 would have a similar um, type of number. However, what we do expect to see is uh, a growth in, in the, the variety of companies and countries that are tapping this market going mm. forward. And are there any potential hurdles? Well, as we mentioned before, transparency um, and lack of credit comparability are, are big hurdles. Um, and we're not the only ones that are working on initiatives. There are other trade associations um, that are working on development of the private placement market in Europe as well as transparency. Um, and the European Co Commission actually noted that one of the big um, hurdles in terms of the capital markets union is, is developing a cross-border pan-European private placement market. And they say as well that one of the barriers is transparency. So um, you know, it, it is being flagged by many different groups um, and people in Europe, and, and we hope to continue trying to enhance transparency mm. in, this in this space. Okay, thanks, Taryn. Thanks for joining us, um, and thank you for watching Credit Matters TV.